Hi, and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Jacksonville. Jacksonville in Florida, known locally simply as Jax, is where South meets North. Southern gentility, neighborliness, and cuisine are still practiced with pride. Yet, while this city is so rich in cultural and historical heritage, it's well endowed with many modern sights and experiences to enjoy, too. But despite the downtown high-rises and tall office blocks, the local folk still very much believe in small-town values. Perhaps nowhere else in Florida are the contrasts so stark and so interesting. Let's get started! Number 10. Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens Nina May Holden Cummer was a local philanthropist who wanted to create a center of beauty and culture in Jacksonville. Unfortunately, she didn't live to see the opening of the Cummer Museum of Art and Gardens in 1961. But the gift she bequeathed to the city and its visitors will live on forever. The museum is now home to more than 5,000 pieces of art, some dating back more than 3,000 years, including more recent works from artists such as Winslow Homer, Thomas Moran, and Norman Rockwell, and the work collection of early mice and porcelain. Number 9. Kingsley Plantation in Jacksonville At the Kingsley Plantation on Fort George Island east of the city, you can take a trip back to the 19th century. This is a good example of a grand southern mansion from the pre-Civil War days and a lifestyle that thankfully died with the Confederacy. There's a plantation house, a kitchen house, a barn, and the remains of some 25 slave cabins. Tefania Kingsley was the master of the plantation, and he later married one of his slaves, who became a successful businesswoman and property owner. However, discrimination against her and her family caused them to move to what is now the Dominican Republic. Number 8. Visit the Talbot Island State Parks A visit to both Little Talbot Island State Park and Big Talbot Island State Park Located just a short drive up the scenic A1 Highway from downtown Jacksonville, makes for a fun Florida Atlantic Coast excursion. The highway passes directly through both parks before a bridge crossing over Nassau Sound takes you onto the equally pleasant Amelia Island. Now in fact, slightly larger than its relative to the north, Little Talbot Island State Park is not so little. Covering an area of 2,500 acres, it's particularly popular among hikers, kayakers, and wildlife spotters. It features a landscape of dunes and beaches, salt marshes, and maritime forests. And you'll likely spot everything from an abundant bird population to river otters. Bobcats have also been seen here. Number 7. Street Johns River Taxi Street Johns River Taxi will take you to three stops along the South Bank and three stops along the North Bank. The modern, comfortable, covered boats seat up to 100 passengers and offer spectacular views of the city and skyline. The company also offers special trips and tours to places like the Riverside Arts Market and the Museum of Science and History. You can also sign up for a popular sunset cruise when the lights of the city turn into a continually changing tableau. One of the best things about the River Taxi, though, is that you don't need a particular destination in mind. Many people take it simply for the sheer joy of the ride along the river and the panorama of the city spread out before them. Number 6. Adventure Landing At Adventure Landing Jacksonville Beach, the first of 10 such theme parks that have sprung up since this one opened in 1995. The kids will be screaming and splashing all day long, and parents will turn into kids again. Attractions at this popular theme park include miniature golf, laser tag, the wacky warm roller coaster go-karts, the frog hopper, and a ride for the more serious roller coaster lovers called 3D Max Flight. You'll also find plenty of wacky, wild, watery, wonderful splash attractions, thrills, and spills galore for the whole family. Number 5. Stroll along the Jacksonville River Walks. The Street Johns River is the commercial, transportation, and historic heart of Jacksonville. Now consisting of two sections, the North Bank and South Bank, this fun network of pedestrian walkways extends some 3.5 miles along the river, connecting several hotels and attractions. It's romantic to walk along the river at dusk when a calm takes over the water, just as the city on either side of it is lighting up. During the day, it's fun to stop and listen to the frequent performances by excellent street performers and bands. In addition, there are some good restaurants along the way. Number 4. Atlantic Beach 
just a short drive east from the urban buzz of Jacksonville, is another world altogether, Atlantic Beach. Here, the only sounds to be heard are the soothing waves lapping against a beautiful beach and the seabirds swooping above the water. One of the best ways to get to Atlantic Beach is via the Street Johns River Ferry, which plies the river amid all types of interesting scenery. Several deep-sea fishing charter companies operate out of Atlantic Beach. If you take one of them, chances are good you can bring your catch to a local restaurant for cooking. Another good place to visit is the Thai Views Preserve. This tranquil spot is popular for its great natural beauty, with a long pier jutting out into the marshes and a park with trails and boardwalks. Atlantic Beach is a great place to just relax and soak in the smells, sights, and sounds of one of Florida's great getaway destinations. Number 3. Museum of Science and History If you love seeing your child's face light up with wonder, visit the Museum of Science and History, originating in an old Victorian home in 1941. This museum has since grown into one of the finest in Florida, with an outstanding collection of both permanent and traveling exhibits. These exhibits range from historic looks at Northeast Florida to revealing glimpses of future technology and communications, as well as energy and ecosystems. There's also a peaceful courtyard with native plants and an interactive play area for younger children. Kids of all ages will love the Space Science Gallery and the Brian Gooding Planetarium. At Mosh, it won't be just the kids' faces lighting up with wonder, yours will too. Number 2. Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens is more than just a zoo. It's an exciting experience that's fun for the whole family. Behind-the-scenes tours, close-up encounters with the animals, and a walk through Butterfly Garden and Land of the Tiger exhibit are just some of the fun things to do here. There's also a play park and splash ground for the kids, and at Stingray Bay, you can pat the inhabitants. Kids can also ride an old-fashioned carousel or sign up for the zookeeper for a day program. A colorful old-time zoo train goes to all the exhibits. Other highlights include a 4D theater and the River Quest Scenic River Cruise. And yes, there are hundreds of animals from all over the world, in all sizes, shapes, and colors. Number 1. Jacksonville Beach Located just a few minutes' drive south of Atlantic Beach, the city of Jacksonville Beach is well worth a visit. The highlight, as the name suggests, is the lovely 4.5-mile-long stretch of golden sand that beckons to be enjoyed and explored. In addition to the superb surfing and swimming conditions here, with lifeguard attendants, if fishing's your thing, you'll want to make your way to the 625-foot-long Jackson Beach Fishing Pier. And if fishing's not your thing, the views over the beach are incredible. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.